and we're here with one of the authors, Tine Mundia Eriksson from Aarhus University. And I have a few questions I'd like yeah. to ask you, Tine. First of all, could you please summarize the most important findings of your paper? So the most important findings is that I find that bullying seems to more than double the long-term sickness absence for women. And for men, it seems as if it affects their labor market attachment in that I find that they appear to be more likely to leave the labor force after being bullied. Right. And this study is super interesting and probably one of the first studies in the area. So what gave you the idea initially to start this study? Uh, it's it's a long story. Yeah. So my mother uh, was a caseworker in one of the larger unions in Denmark. And since the beginning of the 1990s, she's been working with cases where individuals have been exposed to bullying. And what they saw was that these individuals had a lot of sickness absence. A lot of them showed symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, so, in, And in general, their labor force attachment was very weak as a consequence of bullying. Mm -hmm. uh, but whenever they would turn to the politicians or so the employer associations and so forth, they would recognize, yeah, I can see yes, you have a case where they mm -hmm. appears that they're sick, but can you actually prove it? Right. Uh, so I thought that I would look into it when I started my PhD. Um, and then through my mother's collaborators, I was able to obtain a really unique data set, so a large survey um, on the psychosocial work environment of a lot of Danish firms. And then I was able to match that to very rich register data, giving this unique data set that would help identify these effects. Because in general, these effects are very difficult to identify. Mm -hmm. um, so you can't really, you can't randomize mm -hmm. bullying, for example, mm -hmm. and it's hard to think of instruments that could actually work in this area. Mm -hmm. um, so you need really rich register data. and. I was able to get that and look into so hopefully it'll it's one of the yeah. better ways to to look into this interesting yeah. really interesting so are you currently doing anything related to this study uh, yes i'm part of a larger rct mm -hmm. the randomized controlled trial where we look on at leadership so the purpose of this randomized controlled trial is to see whether leadership can affect productivity mm. um, and i was able to get questions on bullying in there as well so we are randomizing over 600 um, leaders mm -hmm. uh, from Danish firms into four different leadership trainings, or one control group and three different trainings. And then we're seeing, which, oh, we just finished the actual data collection. So I'm hoping to see that leadership, how leadership affects bullying and whether, again, maybe whether bullying then affects productivity. Mm -hmm. um, Very interesting. Thank Looking you. Looking forward to seeing more from you. Thanks. Thank you so much for appearing in this interview. You're welcome.